I paid a grand total of £44.50, which equates to around about $60 for this broken Xbox One S. The Celerino on eBay has stated that the console powers on, but I cannot get a signal to the TV. It then seems to power off after a couple of minutes, unsure if this is a further fault or because there is no signal. To me, that sounds like a hard drive issue, but we're gonna check that out right now. Hopefully we can fix this and sell it on for a little bit of profit. I will say that this has been open before and doesn't look that great at all. It almost seems a bit bent as well. And there's a little bit of rattling. Before we continue, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. We're missing screws everywhere. I do not have any faith. <laughs> this screw over here in the corner is completely rounded off. Utterly butterly. There we go. I've just used a flat headed screwdriver bit to get this out. Nice. I'm gonna record this bit just in case anything jumps out. Oh man. Oh wow. What is that? Something's being destroyed in here. Wow. And would you look at that guys? We have ourselves a piece of grass. Let's pop the hood and see what we've got. Oh. <laughs> Oh, for some reason, this hard drive isn't working. Like, oh, it doesn't turn on or display an image on the TV. Oh, what's going on with it? I think I know why that would be. Personally, never come across this before. Like, the hard drive is screwed, but we also seem to be missing the screws. No pun intended. Because of this, I feel like somebody has taken the hard drive apart to try and fix the hard drive, put that back in, and it's still not working. So, how about we just replace the hard drive? So I've got another disk drive. I've just cleaned it using command prompt. We're about to put this in and see if it works. Okay, Xbox One S. Tell us a story. Do you work? Turns on, but we knew that anyway. The listing stated that the console turned on. Do we get anything on the screen? Straight away, look at that. E105, lovely. Now let's get our good power OSU1 and completely reformat this drive. Wicked, OSU1's been applied again, 180p. Hopefully this works. OSU update went through fine. Now we just have to do the internet update. And finally, before we move on to Xbox number two, does it take a disc? Yes, it does. I'll also replace the missing screws, but I just finally need to give this a little bit of love. Let's move on to Xbox number two. Here we have our second Xbox, and if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't actually know what the fault is with this one. It was listed, and the listing stated it's faulty. That's the only thing we know, so I don't know if it turns on. I know nothing. This one seems to have like a matte finish, though, on it, which I actually prefer. The really shiny one shows up way too many marks, whereas this one actually looks in pretty good condition, albeit a few scuffs. The rest of the console looks okay, except for the side of it. I don't know how this happens. There should be a little grill bit here and I didn't even know that that grill bit comes off. And there has been some heavy scratches to this. So someone clearly wanted to get this out. Logic tells me that maybe somebody thought that this part, which you take off to get inside the Xbox, was on this side and therefore they've tried to take it out and completely ripped it off. The plan with this would be to just replace this bit if I can. If I can't, then I'll, I'll just have to replace the whole bottom cover, which is fine because I've got plenty of spares. Let's put the power in and see what we get. Do we get anything is the first question. Let's go. Yes, we do. I get a, I get a, a noise. Okay, it turns on. That's good news. Second question is, do we get any display? And I don't think we do. I've just put the HDMI in and it doesn't actually look like we get... Oh, we do. Wait, so this one just works? Ah, oh, I understand. So surely the disk drive doesn't work, right? Takes it fine, spins up. Do we get a display? Does it does it recognize the game? It does, almost straight away. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. We're gonna swiftly move on to Xbox number three. And the reason behind this is because the other one just worked. Sometimes it do be like that. This one came in a job lot of two and I paid 40 pounds. So we'll say that this one is worth 20 pounds. Let's take it apart and see what's going on. And the listing also states that they don't know what's wrong with it. <coughs> this one is dust heaven, man. <coughs> okay, power's in, does it turn on? Yes, we get a fan spin as well. Cool. <coughs> do we get anything on the screen? Yes, we do. Please tell me something's wrong with this Xbox. It's just sign this person in. Please tell me it can't read discs. Does it appear on screen? Yes, it does. It reads the disc fine. And once again, this Xbox seems to be working fine with no issues. It's not installing the disc because it just said that it needs to clear up some space because it's only got one gig free. But the disc itself ejects fine. And if we go to put it in, obviously it reads it, takes the disc, 
yeah, it's fine. It works. Because of how old and dusty the console is, I'm going to take everything apart, give it a good clean, and put some thermal paste on. However, I've not fixed anything. <laughs> I changed the hard drive of the first Xbox, and the other two just work. It actually took a while for these consoles to come as well. Hello? <laughs> Bonjour. Good and tag. When I was editing the video last night, I only managed to get five minutes of content from trying to fix three different consoles. And in my brain, that standard of content for you guys to watch is horrendous. Sometimes when I do one video a week, I can't make it five minutes of content. That's appalling. So let's hope that they are broken. Please, I need you guys to pray. Just pray that they're broken. Let's move on to Xbox number four. On that note, I mean, what I could do, which has crossed my mind, is I could test the consoles before I record them. But I then almost feel like that gets rid of the authenticity of the, of the fault, right? So I guess maybe I could just verify that it's the same fault as what was listed on eBay. Perhaps. Let me know in the comment section below if you think I should test the device before I actually start recording for a video. Or whether you just like this absolute god awful unorganized mess. Enough jibber jabber. Let's see if this Xbox turns on. No! Yes! Yes! Uh, you're taking the... This is a separate one, another one. I've just plugged it in. Does it turn on? Please no. Yeah. Okay. Does it have an image? That's the main thing. Yes, it does. I promise you this isn't the same Xbox. <laughs> I just keep turning off and on, I promise you. Another one that has just signed me in and works absolutely fine. It's just taking a disc, it's showing it at 720. Does it go to 1080? Yes, it does. No issues whatsoever. I really feel like nine times out of 10, it's the power brick that people are testing on their Xbox and then putting on eBay saying, it's faulty, it doesn't work, but it's the power brick not the Xbox. I've brought in the last Xbox that I actually have in stock that was purchased faulty. It's a nice little crack. Most of these have had cracks to be fair today, but yeah, this one has a nice little crack right in the center. Do you, my friend, turn on or just have any type of fault if you do turn on? It turns on. Does it have any type of fault? We have a slight issue with this console. When I'm pressing the sync button, it's not ticking anything on here, but Everything else works. The power on button works, the eject button works. So I'm just going to take it apart and see why that isn't pairing. Because obviously we're unable to use a wireless controller if we're not able to sync it. I guess you could use a micro USB cable to pair it, but I would like to get this fixed. Interestingly, this one actually hasn't been opened either. This one looking like it's been living in the Sahara Desert or something. This is ridiculously dirty, but like hard. Hard sand, hard dirt, I don't understand. Logically, I've just taken this from another Xbox and I'm gonna test it out and just make sure that it's not the faceplate. I don't actually know if this is even called a faceplate, but it sounds cool. Front bit of Xbox One plastic. Let's go with that. Let's give it a test. Does it turn on? Yes. Does the sync button work? Let's try. Don't know if you guys can see the light down there. If I press it now, is it gonna flash? No, so this finger that's wiggling, the light bouncing off of it should flash. And it's not, even though I'm pushing the sync button. So it's not the faceplate part of the Xbox. It seems to be something else. Let's try the simple things first and just replace the Wi-Fi card. Could also be probably the front motherboard bit here. That might be what's causing it not to work. Or it could be something on the actual mainboard itself. You can see from the light down here again, I'm pushing the button and it's still not working despite changing out the card. Next, we replace the actual front board that sits on the front of the Xbox. Let's try that. The front door to board has been replaced. I've got this one here and it says sync problem. I've just labeled that up. So let's see if this actually works. So you can see down here, I press the button. Oh, nice. We get the noise as well. Of, of course, I forget about the noise actually means that you're pressing the button as well. I forgot about that. But yeah, if you, okay, so when I'm pressing this, we have the, the light flashing. So the problem is actually, with this board then. Now the next question is, what part of this board is the sync? Because you have eject, you have power, and you have the sync button. It would be good to try and nail that down because that would be a pretty nice fix. That's the final Xbox back up and running. I physically have no more Xboxes to try and fix. Some of them need a really good clean and I think mostly all of them need brand new thermal paste. I'll be live streaming tomorrow, Sunday the 6th of February. We're gonna identify what's going on with this board and we're just gonna have a little bit of a catch up because I haven't spoke to you guys in such a long time. We'll do a bit of cleaning and maybe I'll even break some stuff so that we can fix it. If you've missed watching this video on the day it came out, there will be a playlist saying live stream and that is where you'll be able to see the live stream for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next one. Peace.